So guys, today we are going to play Throughout Chaos, we are playing only humans. And yeah, I have found also my favorite strategy for the humans. The strategy is pretty simple, you go for the caster's upgrades and for the defensive build upgrades. I did same on the Orc, Altar of the Storms, and on human it's called Kirintor Academy. So why this build is good, in my opinion? Because your spells cost uh, way less, so you can use your mana more efficiently, you can regenerate your mana back, so it saves you like uh, having heroes, uh, hiring units, I know like trying to push the upgrades on barrack too fast, you can just use the base defense. But not only that, but you get also uh, plus 100 damage on blizzard and 20% spell cooldown. Also extra damage on the uh, mages. I don't know man, like I played against a guy and when my casters casted blizzard like one by one that was buffed like twice more than normal damage. Normal damage is 100 I think and then you can buff it like twice for 50. Then you have also like a more OP heal it keeps you for 100, but you can buff it for 40. I, I, dude, I like it so much. I like it so much. Like, it's literally very good path, in my opinion. Very strong uh, foundation. Yeah, anyway, we are looking for um, a side to upgrade on. And looks like left side is better. But the problem is that there is undead. And undead is already weak. You don't need to push undead, you know. Hmm, yeah, that's a hard one. Right, I'm gonna upgrade on... Oh, it was a mistake. Yeah, I had to upgrade on the, on the left side. For the better buildings. I was just afraid of Torrent. Torrent imbalance. Because, yeah, if Torrent upgrades on you early, that's a nightmare to fight him. He can be so broken. I already did fight like uh, Torrent as a human and I didn't have a pleasant time, you know. <laughs> I mean like early game, tier 2 on tier 2, full upgrades. I feel like Torrin is uh, a little bit stronger, so... It's whatever. Yeah, on the other hand, like, yeah, Undead not gonna push me too fast, so I totally have time to upgrade the barrack. Which is okay. That is okay. I was late on first minute, that's why I picked late. Alright. I feel like I'm here because I I wasn't picking. The game gave me a random automatically. Uh, I was like waiting and speculating. What do we need? Base defense and this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> playing against scary undead, scary Torin, and a scary Naga. There is nothing wrong in playing defensive, okay? Nothing wrong about that. I'm gonna need like, I know, probably one footman. Let's make two. Two should be fine. Uh, one was actually fine. Damn it. Yeah, but we are improving. Every time we play uh, Orc Gladiators, it does feel like we are improving on our strategies. So one day, the whole Twitch is gonna see us beating this map. I mean, I don't feel like Sexy Time got good at the uh, impossible bosses without playing this map for like 100 times. So we gotta, we gotta just keep pushing every stream, one game, or Gladiators. We're gonna do it eventually. We also need like more plebs. Um, oh, how about yo? By the way, how about we we just play with like eight players or like seven players as much as many as we get. We just kick out the randoms. It's gonna be like more XP for us, right? So maybe we just cut the numbers. 
Instead of playing with randoms, we cut the numbers. How about that? You lost because I wasn't there. How about stream of only Orglads? Give me the Orc Gladiators with everyone picking just two of the classes. Don't even need full house. If you want to practice, join my normal game. <laughs> On normal game, we reach level 15. It's like, it's easy. We can go for whatever items we want. We don't really care about uh, the meta. But yeah, like, I feel like Nightmare difficulty teaches you what actually is good and what actually is bad. It, like, it, you know, it softly explains you. You cannot get a lot of dumb items, you know. The fuck is this red push from all sides? What do you mean? I upgrade on you like before. I mean after I upgrade on Torrent. <laughs> what do you mean? The silence though. It's probably coming from the Torrent. Three sides here too. Oh uh, yeah. Shit happens and silence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some hard time I guess. Uh the mid barrack seems to be on fire. Why do you go mercenary? That's your problem. You should have not gone mercenary. If you see like uh, this happening. Come on. Come on. Uh, I know I can reach it. There you go. No, you would upgrade your barracks faster. And you'll be actually fine. That happened to me like uh, yesterday, when I placed the rock, I was off stream. Uh, I had very early tier 2 barracks. I just stopped upgrading anything until I upgrade barracks low too, on each side. I stopped like uh, upgrading damage, I stopped upgrading masonry, I stopped everything. Until you get a uh, tier 2 barrack on every side. Then you push the upgrades on only units and forget about masonry. I could never push Thor and mid. Yeah, at least, but upgrade the uh, tier 2 barrack on mid, you know? Alright, there, there are a lot of acolytes there. I think I'm gonna get pushed. Torrents for two upgrades. Even the caster upgrade. Damn. They almost fully upgraded Torrent. <laughs> yeah, I feel like for each it's so hard right now. Uh, it's fully upgraded me. Fully upgraded Torrent. And he went for masonry. <laughs> like... Uh, I would not like to be in his position, in his pants right now. But to be honest, like... I don't know, dude. You just don't go- you just don't go masonry until you finish your upgrades, in my opinion. That's what I came up with when I got pushed like you did. When this shit is happening, you better have good units and uh, barracks out too. Prepared. Not a bloody masonry. The upgrade on barrack is better than masonry because you can repair it and you gain so much HP. Like you get 750 HP, 2 armor. The masonry gives you 500 and 2 armor. Yeah, better just like upgrade the barrack. I get in the masonry low too. You never beat a normal start with that. Yeah, I didn't beat a normal difficulty to begin with. I'm aware of it. On all gladiators, we didn't beat even a normal difficulty. But to be honest, even if we did, I don't think it would be rewarding. Like I would say, oh my god, we did it. 
GG. Let's not play it for a game. No, I don't know, dude. Like, literally, we are doing such a dumb strat, you know? On normal. Everyone being super greedy, going for late game, uh, failing as well, like, buying with tokens and failing with them, you know? It's much, much more intellectual to learn the meta on the hardest difficulty. Imagine you're gonna like uh, beat the game on a nightmare difficulty, and then on the normal it's gonna be a piece of cake. But the rule doesn't work the other way around, does it? So that's the thing. Okay, I'm gonna use my Z spell uh, right here. Bam! Nuked. I had to go for extra unit before searing arrows, yeah. No, that's fine. Searing arrows are also good. Like, kind of expensive though, but... It's a... Um, Anti-hero counter. Uh, just a hero counter, so... If whoever, for whatever reason, gonna send a hero... To me, you know? At any point. Then it's gonna be much easier to kill that hero. The human is so good. I said it already like a million times, but human is so good around uh, armor difference. Armor difference between you and your enemy. You have devotion aura that affects uh, the heroes, and you have the searing arrows that cuts the enemy's hero's armor. So it's pretty good, but to be honest, getting Searing Arrows early, like on level 3, and getting Devotion early on level 3, just for the sake of that, is a bit of Pepega. I would say it's like for the late game. When you start using heroes, you're gonna need that. But before you start using heroes, and before people start using against you heroes, uh, it's not that good, I guess. I still wanna get it. I don't know. Should I? Let's get Devotion instead. Okay. Now I wanna get Blizzard. I don't wanna get Empowerment straight away, though. It's very good. My Garks dominate me, though. Yeah, Garks are OP. Second caster upgrade on Torrents. It costs like 1k gold. What do you mean? What do you mean second caster upgrade on Torrents? What? So broken. Reconstruction Aura. Mm -hmm. Okay. Made all the goos now making the Crypt Knights, the Crypt Riders, the Crypt Fiend Rider. A lot of torrents, five free upgrades, two upgrades on uh, caster damage. Looking strong. Yeah, man, that's so tanky. Got that tanky. I'm gonna need that much to be honest, just to be sure that I don't die. Maybe I even need it more, but I'm a greedy motherfucker, I don't really want to use too much. Yeah, I need it more actually. I'm gonna need... I'm gonna use that straight away. Or maybe not. Yeah, let's use it. Like, this is really uh, risky. Screw that, not risking. Sivtirstu Barak. 
Then I could also upgrade a uh, mana regeneration straight away. Yeah, let's do that, why not? Uh, what else is good? Wanna upgrade on range damage? Why not? So these guys have more damage, better cooldowns, and uh, I suppose being empowered. Pretty OP. <laughs> Yo, they have so much damage now! Damn, they have a lot of damage. The mana region even beats the mana leak aura. Yeah, that's insane. Pretty insane. Alright, now I gotta focus on upgrading the barracks that are free. I know which one to start with, though. There's a huge undead wave on the left, so probably gonna start with the left. It's a good timing because I got like one range upgrade, I got double caster upgrade. Tier 3 barrack gives you a caster and an air unit. 8 attack upgrade Torrent Lul. I'll tell you Lulin about, I'm pretty much the same, but. I have. What do I have? 6 3? No, it's 6 4 even. Oh, it's a lot of upgrades. One free upgrades on the uh, on the damage and armor. That's not enough. So see, like my I suppose have a very nice cooldown. Very useful. Upgrade to tier 3 on the right side or not? Yeah, I got it, he did it. Effing stream sniper. His air unit also benefits from the caster upgrades. So he is, uh, yeah, pretty much interested just like me in upgrading his uh, barracks to tier 3 as early as you can. Would be nice if the damage upgrades would also benefit to the Kirintor apprentices. Because they're also mages, right? Why not? This is unfair. Alright. What would I do now? Yeah, I would probably just upgrade a lot of uh, defense upgrades, maybe. Uh, also, very nice to get the Searing Arrows. Higher level, Devotion or a higher level, and Defense upgrades, yeah. What's gonna help me against Sylvanas? Probably Searing Arrows. Like reducing her armor. Yeah, it's the best. Okay, let's go for Searing Arrows. Level 2. Damn. They're actually killing Sylvanas. The Sylph was pathetic. <laughs> I know why you summoned Sylvanas midway. At least summon her at your base, under the towers. The fuck is this bullshit? Yeah, man. Okay, I wanna watch the Blizzard damage. Let's look. Cast a bloody Blizzard already. All the heal. Man, they don't cast it. They cast it so rarely. Yeah, there you go. It's like 150 damage around it. Not too bad, not too bad. You stop with the upgrades on... On anything. Doesn't upgrade armor further. So we can make the difference on that. Now Kalthus out. Why don't you just have... Oh yeah, actually upgrading the barrack will not save you, I think. 
through. So much mana though. Wait, what the fuck? Why do I have so much mana? It's like full mana main. I keep on buying units. Why don't you use your mana? Kek, okay. However, I, I'm not gonna need the defensive spell yet. I'm not pushing upgrade speller. Maybe he's saving up for a super unit. Oh, tier 4 on mid? Alright, now I see why. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bloody tier 4 on mid. Uh, Serene arrows almost complete. Uh, I don't know. Serene arrows. Low free. I usually get it, but I'm trying to think whether it's a good decision or not. I mean, I killed Sylvanas really fast, and the armor reduction helped. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Why not? I can go for cheap upgrades for now, like uh, on range, perhaps. See, so yeah, I have like 7 upgrade on armor, perhaps I'm gonna stop there, uh, it's totally fine to stop there. Devotion Aura is gonna be low too, also fine to stop there. Uh, animal War Training probably comes after Tier 3 Caster Upgrade, when you have maximized damage on your killing towers, and maximize also damage on your other units. Yeah, but okay, okay, I feel like I should stop. I, I should stop right now. I cast a castle, please, four times in a row. In a row. In the middle of my wave. Yeah, that's why, what I'm saying, yo, that's what I'm saying. The blizzard and chain lightning buffs are so OP. Like, this foundation is actually broken. I know, I like it so much. It makes uh, your waves. And like manpower being much stronger. Sad that I didn't see it happening. Like them casting the blizzard too often. But I can wait. I can wait. The silence slow counters me. Right. <sighs> oh, when they're gonna be unsilenced, probably they're gonna have no cooldown on their spell, so they're gonna cast it immediately. Maybe. I don't know. They don't wanna cast the blizzard yet. Come on, cast the blizzard. I know you want it. They survived this damage. They're free barrack, finally. Yeah, devotion or uh, any war training. Nah, I don't think it, it's that good. I'm gonna get more range upgrades because I have now ballistas. I already have like 2 tier 3 barracks plus ballista, so it's a good idea. I don't even need to upgrade my mid by the way, I still haven't upgraded my mid barrack, it's still tier 1. Be <laughs> the other one is the same. You know why? Because there are two, I don't know, very smart people having a war in the middle, like one guy has tier 3, other guy has tier 4. Waves never gonna reach us, me and the other one. We can be just chilling, you know, the whole game. 
This is interesting. How am I getting pushed with my tier 4 barrack against a tier 3 barrack? Probably use the defense spells. It's like the only explanation I can give it. Okay, getting another range upgrade. Gonna be already 5th one. And that's gonna be 6. Okay, now I have two choices. I either tag to tier 3, or I upgrade tier 4 on reach. Um, I feel like Rich is already suffering like a fuck ton. It will be very mean to upgrade tier 4 on him. So probably I will not do that. Uh, I'm just gonna go and upgrade main. But yeah, if he gonna go tier 4 uh, before me, I'm gonna do that as well. Bully Rich, then game. <laughs> Why do you want me to bully him? Torrent still has tier 3, so yeah, this is a good push. Normally I would upgrade uh, yeah, double barrack tier 4, but I don't know. Like this particular game, I don't feel like I'm gonna get pressured. I'm holding these neutral buildings uh, since forever, you know. Don't really need that. Yo, the Syrian arrows level 3 are kicking in. Gas Blizzard just a few more times. They're out of mana. Like, they, they are legitly losing mana. They don't have enough mana for... Casting. Alright. Yeah, I really need the... Uh, this, and I really need that. Like, two caster upgrades now. Um, yeah, let's start with the white magic. So I'm gonna have resurrection. What does it give it me as well? Mana region, extra damage, yeah. It's only superior to empowerment. I have four mana. So I don't even need to upgrade my regeneration. Against Reach I'm probably gonna use uh, Shockwaves. Man, this Bane is so low on HP. I'm yeah, probably just gonna uh, use the Shockwaves. I still have like a lot of upgrades to go before sending super units. What, what I have learned by the way, yeah. Uh, sending a super unit before you get um, nine nine upgrades. Sometimes it's like kind of worse, you know. Then waiting until you get the upgrades and only then sending. Even if you are tier three, like still getting upgrades first, kind of seems better in my opinion. I don't know why. It's like I played one game where I sent a super unit. But the guy just pushed upgrades. Uh, when my super unit reached him, he already had his super unit. So, like, I didn't do anything to be honest because of that. Alright, I'm waiting for the attack, but, like, it's not coming. I'm not receiving anything. Paper hands. Let's get annual war training. Now that I have max damage on the Kirindor apprentices. And I keep on pushing the damage upgrades here, like upgrading the attack rate. It's kind of making sense. Or should I even use it? No, I gotta use mana, but like, should I use uh, my X defensive spell? Maybe I'm gonna use my Z. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. I feel like that might be enough. Alright. 
Yeah, the blizzard, dude. Like, what the F? Do you see the blizzard? Alright, let's just watch whenever they cast blizzard. That's the foundation, like, the biggest point why the goal is foundation in the first place. I missed it. On the right side. Okay, keep gonna cast it. Look! <laughs> Holy smokes! It, like, it taps half of their HP. So broken. Watch, there's gonna be another blizzard soon. Bam! <laughs> like, dude! Another one! The blizzards are rocking. Not the ones that made Reforged though. Uh, yeah, let's get Ember Watering low too. Okay, use a hero or use the shock waves and try to base the fan without it. My mana is full again. Okay, let's let's play uh Yeah, let's just use the shockwaves. I feel like just using the shockwaves of that spell, to be honest. Is a better idea. So I get to launch something to be upgraded, right? Let's upgrade the fan. Uh let's upgrade also. Not even now. Devotion aura, I guess. One level in mana shield. Man. I don't, like... Oh my god. I'm so strong, I don't even need to use anything. Alright, I can launch more upgrades now. Let's go more armor. Still tier 3 barrack. So we have... 9 upgrades on damage, 7 upgrades on armor, 6 on ranged. The blizzard man. It's not only the blizzard that got upgraded, of course like, it also, the resurrection cost, and uh, the heal got buffed. Actually, yo, should I even get mana shield? It's gonna drain their mana, right? It might be not the best idea then. Right, I'm, I'm gonna research it anyway, and then see it. Uh, see it for myself. Was it a good or bad decision? Ideally, I need to use mana again, so I'm... Very happy to receive attack with Sylvanas. Use my defensive spells again. And probably like upgrade the barrack off that gold. Anyway, should I upgrade on mid? Finally. I mean, it's gonna help on other lanes, I guess. But then, on the other hand, I could just upgrade more passives. I feel like I'm getting too greasy. With the passives. <clears throat> Maybe it's fine though. Maybe it is fine. I don't know, man. Uh, it's a lot of uh, chickens in the sky. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, in the end of the day, they have no mana because of that. Because of the mana shield, I think. Don't know. Was it the right decision? What was damage and attack rate for the range units? The most interesting one is Ballista. Like you get bonus attack rate for this abomination with a lot of damage. So it shoots even faster. Okay. Okay. I didn't think that that would happen. But I guess it did. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there are still more upgrades to go. Um, hmm. How to do it better? Man, I'm, I'm killing his unit. I don't even need to use it again. Okay, I'm gonna just use my... My Z spell again, I guess. <laughs> like... I don't even need to use anything. They just die by the... On their own. Have we sent a hero? I don't know. Probably not. Create the ro like, get the upgrades. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe upgrade on mid finally. <laughs> I'm so confused on what to do. Any award or any level 3 also seems like a very good idea. Okay, can you move a little bit closer, please? Uh, stupid Sylvanas. Alright, uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, why not? We are on the s in a safe spot right now. What if I could go back? What's up with the voice? What do you mean? Yeah, I didn't sleep today too well, so I'm kind of like... Don't have my voice right now. And for Infonero, thank you for the follow, much appreciate it. Okay, she did aggro on this tower. Let's try to make her aggro on this tower. Alright, Oshara has spawned. Okay, I'm gonna use it. I like that's a good timing for it now. So we have 11 upgrades on armor. Let's get more upgrades on range damage. And yeah, we are pretty much complete. We are pretty much complete. Researches. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, Rich! Where are your researches, mate? And yeah, the funniest part is like when you're gonna still win the game even with that. Uh, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to get, man. Defender is too expensive. Advanced ballistics is okay. Is an okay upgrade. I'm gonna get the ultimate weapon now, just in case. I have a lot of mana, so I can totally. Mana burn people. Uh, Sparta went for the mana shield. I can mana burn that as well. Yeah, I feel like I'm going for mana burn. And just start mana burning people. That's a good idea. What's up, Pimp? How are we doing? Pimp is using you for content on his stream. <laughs> Motherfucker. Well, I do the same sometimes. Everyone has so much mana except. I mean, so little except that. Wow, there is a lot of action on the screen, huh? Um, so, let's throw him a little bit. <laughs> Yoink. And yeah, I gotta upgrade the middle barrack finally. Uh, this whole time, for 40 minutes, my middle barrack has been only low 1. You gotta get upgraded finally. Or else, like, I don't know, something might happen. What else can I upgrade? I can upgrade masonry. I can upgrade armor one more time. Yeah, there is room to expand. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I could upgrade the middle barrack. So, reach right now is pushing Diadon, right? Oh, then I don't need to upgrade it. Yeah, I don't need to upgrade it. It's not gonna reach me. So, I should be fine. Okay. 
this way though. I wonder what's gonna be left out of it. Like, will he defeat the Iron Task? Yeah, he will defeat. No, I mean like, Iron Task will defeat the Shara. But it will hold for the time being, I guess. Let's end, let's end the hero, so he tries to get XP maybe, from one thing or another. Okay, Gash is still fighting Kelio. Cool. Yeah, I got like only one extra armor upgrade and we are complete. Hey, what does make sense? Oh, I have another level in Animal War Training. Damn. But it's so expensive. But it's good. It's expensive but good. Uh, I can uh, I can upgrade the Royal Guards to level 3 to get a battle cry 10% in 400 AoE. Uh, Aqua Blast is kind of meh. Upgrade uh, Defend is okay. Critical Strike on Cavalry and Footman, okay. And Advanced Ballistics is also okay. I still tier 2 barrack. Alright. So what's going on? Should I play it? I don't know man. And I need just got a bit of XP. Okay, let's go for any more war training level 4. <laughs> um, also let's go for... Defend level 2. Nah, advanced ballistics. It's the cheapest one. Okay, and yeah, now I finally have time to upgrade the masonry. So the Gash is still alive, it's level 13. Uh, I, it did destroy the Ziggurat. Come on. Start hitting the barrack. I know you want it. Yes! Yes! Yes, go for it! That's the thing, Gash is a very unpredictable creature. Uh, sometimes, you know, <laughs> just goes for the barrack. But it's a Gary, there are units. Oh! Hello? I wasn't watching that. Alright. Should be fine. There's some mana be on you. And, uh,. Should I upgrade masonry or start uh, pushing like crazy? Okay, no, no, tier 4 barrack first. Okay, tier 4 barrack on mid first. Um, then the next step gonna be save up for heroes. Faceless Terror. So his foundation is a tier 4 unit. This one. The Faceless Terror. It replaces uh, the turtle. I'm not sure if it's good or not, but at least it looks epic. It's like a big tentacle guy with a lot of damage. Uh, scales of non-range upgrades, so you can rush it, I guess, and play around it. Like, you don't need to get range upgrades for your tier 4 unit anymore, you know? This kind of logic. Okay. AI sent Artisan mid. Wise choice. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be fine because there is no barrack. It's a uh, 7-6 upgrade as well. We are, yeah, like 55% on annual war training level 4. Crit is good. Uh, my problem with the crit is that it's on melee units. Uh, melee units tend to die first. And I feel like it's a good late game, so right now. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Like, I'm gonna get this free. Probably skip this free. You don't need mana shield more than on one point. Uh, Aqua Blast is not worth it. And. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna think about it, I guess. Since Wimp is here, the minions after this. Uh, we could, yeah, we could. If Wimp is down, we can go for it. How many heroes do I send against the Kelly? Oh, actually, the Kelly is dying. 
Okay, I might regret it. But yeah, let's go. Let's give it a try. Alright, let's see. It's an Uther level 1 against Galio level 13. I just want to get XP. Man, do he's doing great. He's doing great. <laughs> Double hero on mid. <laughs> Alright. Uh, sure. I can send uh, Antonidas on mid now. To beat them up. Yeah, why not? That might work out. Smile and burn him again. Uh, I can research the mana region. Yeah, let's get a crit. Yeah, let's get mana region. Let's get mana region. We're not gonna get. We're not gonna be under attack anytime soon. I think so. Also, I'm gonna have a fountain. Like it's a fountain plus uh, 0 0.4 extra sec uh, MP per second. I just don't know what the main has originally, to be frank with you, so I can't really tell. This looks a little bit dangerous, I might need uh, Proudmoor to help on the needles. Maybe not. Atlas is dead. I, just, I, need, I need to land the last hit. If, I, if I'm going to land the last hit, that will be fine. Um, yeah, let's save up gold now. So Uther smashed the Galio, the super unit of Undead. Now we are pushing that base. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna send the super unit on the right side. And that's gonna be it now but I'm getting too much gold like maybe I, I could have launched some upgrade right this moment but launch what critical strike low 2 okay let's go yeah critical strike low 2 there we go if anyone were training uh, attack rate that does make sense to me like one point in those are you what are you doing? <laughs> Why? Why did it send what? Obviously I'm gonna lose now and I will not push red, but why Galio on me? Look at this blizzard damage. This is ridiculous. So OP. Twenty extra mana per minute, that's OP AF. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's really OP. That's why I like this pep so much. I'm telling you, the guy who played uh, on Orcs Altar, Altar of the Storms. Uh, the analogy for this one. He did beat the crap out of me completely. Like the guy just beat me to the ground, you know? I don't even think I need to be uh, pulling uh, creeps back. Yeah, like I'm gonna kill the all the frontliners first. What the f? Why are they aiming my buildings? I'm not even aiming the heroes. Okay, now I'm going to aim a little bit. Auto upgrade. Masonry filter. Let's go masonry filter, I guess, yeah. Alright, maybe Royal Guards. Let's go Royal Guards, okay, screw it. The roar plus 10% uh, 
Uh, damage is not too bad, I guess. Plus it buffs other things, such as... What is it? Impale. 2x damage, 1 second stun. Uh, greater chance for that. Also... Battle Frenzy. Damage after a kill. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's too bad, you know. Let's get the critical strike level 3 as well. Yo, my Uther is taking so much damage. What the heck? Okay. I really wanna send Antonidas to the left side now. Zap, Green Ghost. Thank for the follow, much appreciate. How Uther is dying? Hello? Also fully upgraded. What if I do quadruple hero push? Yeah, let's go quadruple hero push. Why not? Man, you're not gonna get your mana back. Relax. Like, I have mana burn soon. <laughs> but to be honest, he doesn't have any other options but to go for the mana drain. I guess. I don't really feel like pushing mercenary further, either. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. But on the other hand, like, I could upgrade something, right? Okay, let's go. Let's see how it uh, plays out. Quadruple hero push. Having all the neutral buildings on this side. Mute is blocked by green. The base two stands, so yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I either save up for another like uh, quadruple hero later on, or I go mercenary. Let's check out GPM. Okay, we are pretty much equal. We are pretty much equal on GPM. He, I feel like he also didn't send heroes too much. So, full upgrades on mercenary. On the other hand, yeah, I have, I have gotten only 1k gold throughout this whole time. But this also gives you gold. Okay, let's go mercenary. Fuck it, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he might get a bit of mana, at least for one defensive spell. So right before, after mercenary, I gotta cast it. So he can't use anything. Royal Guards! Like, how fast will I need gold? Ah, let's play safe, let's play safe. Screw it. Can you upgrade faster? He might have enough for defensive spell. He needs 175 mana for the shockwaves. Oh no. Uh, he won't get it, right? There is no way he can get it in time. Alright, good. I am a Jean. I was destined to rule. Uh alright. Ashar low thirteen. Two heroes low one. I also have heroes uh, low level. Paramour is dying. Lady Vash and Athisa got damaged a little bit. Cash split. Uther is dying. Antonidas is doing some weird moves. Gash is right clicking towers and barracks. Come on. Okay. Uther died. Nice. Uh, if I send double hero right now, will they able to take down Gash? Uh, Galio, I mean. Let's find out. Plan is not too bad. Uh, kill Galio, get a lot of gold, get XP, push mid when the hero is gonna be on the right side already. Or maybe even see you in the fight. Maybe see you in the fight. 
So Antonio just died. Did he push uh, the left side if I sent him? Alright, come on guys, you can do it. Other is losing HP. Pradmar is also losing HP. Yeah, I can I can actually send quadruple hero mid again. At this rate. I think I, s I can send quadruple hero mid. Just bloody gash got uh, get killed. <laughs> but he keeps on trolling. Oh man, it's full HP. <laughs> Alright, this push might be scuffed. On the other hand... <laughs> they keep on getting dragged out of the base. Alright. I guess it worked. Yeah, I just planned it to be like that, you know? It's... Just like I wanted. Yeah, okay. This is game over most likely, so I can go... Full nuts on upgrades. <laughs> Let's go. What's with the laser beam? It's a... Mana drain. He was draining mana from me. But I don't feel like I do care. <laughs> I have still a lot of mana. I think it really changed. Oh, Gash is dying. Actually dying. An allied champion has fallen. If I cancel this and that... An allied champion has fallen. Like, this is actually good. This is kind of Popega. I don't know, man. Green has been defeated. Yeah, let's cancel you. Come on. There you go. All four heroes are there. An allied champion has fallen. So it should be fine. How much mana did you get? Uh, I don't know, I guess I should wait until he mana drains me again. And only then I use the mana burn. <laughs> yeah, this is like, this is greed. This is literally greed. And this mercenary upgrades is also like a uh, greed. Ideally, it would be to wait for the cash to be summoning heroes again and again and again immediately, you know? Not what I'm doing. Like, I could send heroes right now on the left side. You see? That's what actually I'm going to do, I think. Wait, I didn't get the last hit? Oh, he's not that okay, good. I got the last hit. Gash is losing HP. Naga is OP. What the hell? And I push him relatively fast. Alright. Yeah, like, why am I even researching this thing? But now that it's almost complete, I gotta finish it. You wanna, wanna start mana draining me? So I can mana burn you? I feel like he will just use his Z spell. Because if he drains more, I can mana burn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need both heroes, I think, for defense. Okay, let's use it now. I need to pull them into my base. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, I can summon Proudmoor from left side. Antonidas died just to units? Wait, what? How is that possible? Gash is losing to units as well. Wait, what? Wait, Naga is that stronger than me? It pushes my super unit? I mean, yeah, like, uh, mid-wave is cut, because I'm under attack, but... What the... Why this, though? Am I actually... Can I actually lose this game? <laughs> Unbelievable. What are solos, uh... Four heroes? <laughs> Damn, like... I didn't expect that to happen. I'm not even using my defense powers. There are no units, like, why would I use even the shockwave in the first place? He's smacking all of his heroes by himself. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna use the shockwaves on the left side, yeah. Probably. Wait, what, how did you get so much mana? Okay, he bought a magic rune. He bought a magic rune. There is no way he would get this amount of mana. Legit way. I know he has a fountain, but... you He, he bought a magic rune. That must be it. Cash is actually dying. Pepper laugh. So he gets XP. I don't really want to summon an assassin hero. Alright. Get XP off the cash, I guess. Am I feeling confident today? Probably, yeah. Why not? Let's go. If V's gonna lose to just units, I don't effing know. I'm out then. Actually, how about even this? Let's go. And yeah, I got the mana bear. How much mana do you have? Yeah, he will have for enough for a defensive spell. Damn it. I should have not been like that. I can upgrade Magic Torrent. So my spells uh, cost a little bit less. True. But yeah, okay, the plan is to kill it with only units. I guess. Actually, I had I had to research this so I could use it for the second time. Meh. It's kind of too late now, but still good. What's your range? Four hundred. Okay. So let's just hope that my guys will push successfully. Can my main reach here? It can. It really likes my tower. You like the tower? <laughs> it's not even hitting you, like, stop hitting my tower, hello? Can my main reach here? Yes, it can! Then why are you hitting? My barrack, come on, don't hit my barrack. Ah, it should be fine now. How are my guys doing? Guys. Uther? Uther? He's not dying. Come on, die already. Oh, I forgot this. 
Yeah, he used his mana completely before I can mana drain. I mean, mana burn. Alright. Uh, yeah, probably gonna be like a middle push. Oh, very nice! Okay, so on the side where he doesn't have a barrack, he gonna... Like, it's minus two heroes. It's minus two heroes. Now I can totally push. Should I even waste my mana burn to get rid of his 50 mana? I don't know. I can also buy magic rune, but is it actually worth it? Is it actually worth it? Ascend Gash uh, from the left side. Before that I sent him on mid. So on the right side he should be off the cooldown. Buying so many units. Fuck. Okay, let's get on to Nidas. Mana drain him so he doesn't think about using mana. Uh, I don't even know, like, defend, advanced ballistics. I can send him on meat again. Let's go. Let's try to do the same with Gash. If he's gonna die, but I don't feel like Gash gonna die. So my question is like, uh, does it affect heroes with roar plus 10% damage? Doesn't seem like to be affecting though. Um, yeah, the units have his battle cry, but the heroes don't. So I guess it doesn't affect them. Sadly. Nail before your queen. All right, let's see. All right, I will proceed until he chain the barrack. Good. I feel like I'm winning only because somewhat I got this barrack on the right side with quadruple hero push. Make more quadruple hero pushes, kids. As a casual. If it were me, that a shadow would start aiming my barrack and GG. Yeah. I guess it. You know, they tend not to aim the barrack when there are too many units. Does that make sense? Like, if there are way too many units, they never aim the barrack. She was surrounded by units at some point, and they, she like didn't think about aiming anything. Damn, this Pathlo is strong. 33 armor, faceless terror. 200 siege damage, 2.5k HP. Let me see my knight with animal war training in level 4. So this is the tankiest knight you can ever get. Actually no, you can you can get the knight's uh, foundation and they will have a little bit more HP I think. They're gonna be like 1k HP knights, not cavalry. I have more armor because of Devotion Aura, but yeah, still, like, this is, this is Abomination. So, okay. IG. Wanna see the stats? Uh, worst... Uh, net worth early. Second place net worth on minute 10.20. Here I was doing also worst. Also, like, okay. Top 2, and yeah. To be honest, I, I stopped getting the top net worth since I stopped upgrading on mid barrack and I stopped also getting mercenary too early. Should change your name to not as it was editor. Lay gaming SC is such a clown fiesta. True. I'm still trying to figure out how it works to be honest and I have no idea. Alright, anyway guys, uh, gonna call it for today. I started today earlier. How long is the stream? There is no way it's 5 hours, right? It, it lies to me. Yeah, I have a fucking stomachache for whatever reason given. 96 viewers! 
Holy smokes! Yo guys, thanks so much. It's probably a wimp and maybe like someone else did uh, host me or raided me. 96 viewers, thank you so much, really. I really appreciate ho you watching me. Much love, guys. And yeah, I hope you're gonna have a wonderful rest of the evening. Uh, whatever time you have. I'm going to host you someone sexy. Oh, there is Calderay uh, streaming Life is Strange. Okay, do you want Calderay streaming Life is Strange? Or you want Skew Ganon playing Valorant? Uh, Vitamin, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Calderay. Life is Strange again. Alright, I'm gonna host you, I guess. It's been a while. So you guys, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, I see you in the next one, peace!